Blog Talk Radio. It's the Ed Show, not the Ted Show. It's the sit back, relax in your bed show. It's the Ed Show. Come on to the Ed Show. You can talk to Ed on the Ed Show. Hey, everybody. Yeah, it's your friend Ed. Come back again. It's Thursday night already again here in Las Vegas. Probably Thursday in your spot, too. Because another day ain't started yet, so you know, we'll still have Thursday. Tomorrow, it's probably going to be Friday. So that's what happens. Yeah, we got a, we got a big show planned tonight. We, uh, you know, we got a couple different things we're going to do. You know, we got a football draft that we're doing with 32 of you kids who be signing up on my stuff. So we're going to pick out who's going to be the 32 team in that. And uh hope y'all, y'all don't cry if you don't get picked. But, but you got you to gotta pay your $20 to sign up too. So don't be, don't be. Ah, I want to play. I want to play, but I ain't got no money. Ah, well, you know what? You ain't got no money. You got to go. Then uh, we're supposed to be having a come on and it's a fella named uh, Bishop Barry. He uh, he runs Jesus Christ Bell Bond in uh, in Maryland. I think it's in Maryland. We had found him on the internet. Remember when a few weeks ago my girl had got locked up, but we in Las Vegas though, so we couldn't use him. But we had to find, you know, bail bond place, and and uh, and I kept singing the bail bonds places. And then we had a we had a rundown of who had the best bail bond song. But the the Jesus Christ bail bonds they have a song, but they had kind of like a catchy little thing. And I went and I shared it with you guys and let you guys see what was going on with that. And this guy. Bishop Barry, he posted actually be on he's a, I guess he's a superstar bail bonds person in, in the East Coast. And uh we'll find out what's going on because he got that bail out, bail out, that thing. I mean I bet you he'd probably be bailing a lot of people out in Maryland, Baltimore. That's you know, Baltimore dangerous sometimes. So uh and uh we got our co host he here, number one nine, you there man? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. And I believe our uh guest is here as well. Oh, he already on the line? I think so. Now put him on in. But don't you can't let me that guy is a superstar, man. You can't well, listen. We got guests on the line, man. You got to put our guests on. You cannot let them people be waiting, man. These people don't got time for this. It's important goddamn people in America. Uh, all right, yeah. Well, I believe this is uh Bishop Barry. Are you there, sir? I'm I'm here. But Bishop Barry is here with with uh, Attorney William Boyd III. He, he's yeah. also in the commercial here. Say hello, William. How's everybody doing out there? Hey, how you fellas doing, man? It's Ed. I'm in Las Vegas, and number one nine and my co-host. He you ain't gonna believe this. He in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's what's up. That's what's up. So. <laughs> I know. I, I'm like, man, it's, it's crazy because we we do the show on, on this telephone thing, and everybody get to hear it. And, and, and see what happened, man. How you fellas doing tonight? Good. Just just back in Baltimore trying to make a dollar out of fifteen cents. Absolutely. <laughs> oh man, you got you got keep people out of jail, keep them out of bondage. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. See, we found you fellas because listen, I mean, we found you guys back because I moved in with a girl a few weeks ago. Well, probably about maybe two months ago, I moved in with a young lady that I had known, and unfortunately. She got arrested one night, and I didn't even know it, but she was hooking. Wow. Okay. And, yeah, so I had to get her a bail bond and all that stuff like that. And out here in Las Vegas, they got a place that, that got like a catchy theme song, like Super Bail at 7. You know, and I kept singing the song. And then I said, I wonder if anybody else got some catchy tunes for bail bonds. And right, right. we looked up, we seen you guys, we were like, man, these guys are the best. I wish you guys were in Vegas, man. Yeah, I need you get some work out here in Las Vegas. I tell you that. <laughs> Maybe we need to move. <laughs> <laughs> the East Coast is you dope, got it, baby. <laughs> yeah, 
Baltimore. Why is it so? Baltimore. When you're in Baltimore, though, that's a lot. There's a lot of work in Baltimore, ain't there, for bail yeah, bonds? Yeah, it's a lot of work in Baltimore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like hey, yeah. Franchise out there in, uh, in Las Vegas. If, if y'all got somebody want to start a Jesus Christ bail bond, we, we interested. Y'all just send them out how, away. How much would a franchise cost me? I don't know. Me and, me and we and my yeah, boy, we'll, we'll work it out. Well, listen, I ain't no cheapskate. Everybody knows, listen to my show. My son used to play NBA. He gave me $5 million a long time ago. I, that's what I live off of. So I got money. I mean, I ain't worried about the money situation. I'm worried about, you know, if I'm going to make some extra money on top. Because all I be doing out here gambling and, you know, sometimes oh, you I chase girls a little bit and stuff. Yeah. yeah, they got a lot of bail bonds. We got a whole street full of bail bonds right downtown. By the, the courthouse out here, we got. See the, but the, see, the key is too is that if you start a Jesus Christ bail bonds out there, we we don't do just we don't just bail people out. Uh, William Boy, he's the president of Prisons Aid Association of Maryland, has been in existence since the 1800s, and and they turn around ex offenders. So yeah. we don't just bail them out. Explain it to him, William. Well, you know, I mean, it's it's you know a lot of times people just going through some trials and tribulations, and they need to be pointed in the right direction. So. You know, we you know get them bailed out, deal with the case, and then you know see if we can put them through the prison's aid program so they can have a better life. You know, it starts off the Jesus Christ bail bonds commercial is real catchy to kind of you know catch your attention, but at the same time it's got a mission at the end of it. You know what I mean? To to really put the people in the right direction. So you 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 not only gonna bail bond them out, you are gonna lawyerize them too and you get them off the case. <laughs> Got that right. Got right. If if you bail out but you don't deal with the case, you go to jail for a million years, and it doesn't make any difference that you bailed out, bailed out, and bailed out. Sure does. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ bail bonds, you know, definitely has a spiritual component to it. Yeah, we 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 trying to get them right because uh, everybody gonna have a judgment day. Yeah, I know, I know. And then I was like, man, how did you get? How you did you get into into the bail bond thing? Well, you know, basically you had to take a, you know, you had to take a course here, you know, in in Maryland, uh, you know, to certify you to the, the, the whole insurance uh, property casualty license, and then you know the, the state issues the license as an exam. But uh, my my good friend and William R. Boy, he he's just a wonderful guy. He's not just an attorney; he's a real good friend of mine. And actually, you know, he was like, you know, he's 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 my lawyer, so I mean, he counsels me on a lot of things and. He was like, you know, bro, it's a lot of bail bonds out there, but you know they're not really doing anything other than bailing people out. I mean, they're not they're not helping people, so you need to do something fresh and different. You know, I'm, you know, he's the president of Prisons Aid, and we started turning around ex offenders, yeah. and he actually came up with the name Jesus Christ Bail Bonds. <laughs> I mean, I, I I take that I because give him of, all because, of that credit because in Baltimore they got the they got the most unbelievable names for bail bond companies. Yeah. Superfly Bail Bond, you know what I mean? Breakout <laughs> Bail Bond, you know. <laughs> They got Do they got Dolomite bail bonds? That's the only one I haven't heard. I mean, but I, I'm telling you, they got the wildest days of Baltimore for bail bonds companies. You know what I mean? But, but we're yeah. Tell them what we're going to do. Oh, 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 strong arm bail bonds. Yeah, strong arm. Yeah. But, but tell them, oh, tell my them, tell them what I'm going to do next. But the, the, the bishop is working on Jesus Christ home detention. You know what I mean? So that's the next thing. So he's working on the next. Now, what's going to happen on what happened on that? So if I get if I got to get like house arrest and stuff. Yeah. yeah, if you got to get house arrest, you'll be able to go to the bishop, and he'll be able to, you know, put that little box on your your ankle, and, and instead of being in jail, you can be at home and eating the food that you want to eat and seeing who you want to see. You just have to stay home. That's what happened to my friend Franklin. Listen to this. My friend Franklin, this true story, man, he got a DUI on a bicycle out here in Las Vegas because he caused a three-car <laughs> collision. He caused a three-car collision. And they give him that that home detention thing. He had to wear the bracelet on his on his leg. Yeah. I had never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, welcome to America. They locking up more people every day. You gonna see a lot of home detention, a lot of bail bonds companies, and you know, a lot of a lot of criminal, you know, justice industry is gonna be going on. Yeah. Any, anytime they. Start hey, now street. listen. Hey, the attorney, the attorney fella. Now listen, I don't I don't want to offend you, or get you mad or nothing, man. But man, I watched your commercial. Man, that one girl at the end of the commercial show is good looking. <laughs> that's my wife. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! That's oh his, man. That's his wife. You talk about on the he's my that's daddy. Your, oh that's man, my wife. yeah. 
Oh no! Oh, good lord! Sorry, man. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. No, 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 no. I'm glad she's pretty. I had another. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to marry no girl and say, and then they go, oh, is that, is that the help? No, you don't want that. Exactly, you don't. Know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and you know what's funny, too, because you guys is Jesus Christ bell bonds, and, like, all the time, that's, like, one of the words I always say. Like, people say something to me, I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every yeah, time. Who's the first person you call me getting in trouble? Jesus Christ. <laughs> do it. Hey, do it for me real quick. Do do the commercial real quick. Just do it real quick. Come here. <laughs> If you if you're locked up in the fridge, Bella, 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 Jesus Christ, Bella Barnes. I love that man. I love that. Yeah, what's like, up, man? Now listen. Now I'm confused. We got I'm t-shirts confused. out here in Baltimore too. But, you got oh, what? Yeah, talk to, we we sell t-shirts with Jesus Christ, Bella Barnes. You know the commercial on it, and also we do have a, a CD. Uh, well, we and my singer. That's what you did a play for the rap song. Yeah, we, yeah have, we came up with a rap song. We came up with a rap song. If you if you go on um, can it can it go on the on the yeah bailout 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 dot com. Right, and 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 uh, and uh, if you go on that Google bailout bailout dot com, it'll play the, the yeah, song. Yeah, play a it'll play a portion of the rap song. Oh man, you should hear we and boy be giving it up to him. He be hollering out. Now, I got hear to Miami and everything. <laughs> now listen, do y'all have like? Cause out here, man, all I do is barbecue. Do y'all have, like, at the end of the year, do you have a big barbecue for all the people you bailed out at the end of the year? <laughs> no, well, William has a, has a he has a um, one of those uh, a big, uh, he gets a park and he brings all the ex-offenders and people that they go through the program uh, up, up here in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. It's like no, a picnic. Do, it's like a picnic. We right, do something, picnic. Around, we yes, do something they, around the holiday season. Right, yeah, it's like yeah. a barbecue, yeah. That ain't trying bad, to keep everybody together, you know? Well, I got one question though. Now I clicked on another thing and I seen y'all got a pest control. What is that about? <laughs> yeah, we doing it, baby. We doing it. That's for real. Are you for real? You come over there yeah, and the price real. so good that they make you shout. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what? The 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 rap song might be on the internet. Yeah, it right. might be on YouTube. Yeah. Is right. it on YouTube? It probably is on here. Let's see if we can grab it real quick. I'm gonna I'm see if we can get it here because uh, that's the song you really need to hear. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I need to, I need to get on and click that. I need to All click right. that, uh, man, you know. I don't know if you put it on the web, if you put it on the other one. So y'all must be like super rich with all these businesses you got too, cause I seen I went when I went on there, man. I was like, y'all be doing pest control, a floor. You got a florist. You got you sell flowers too. Oh yeah, I make I make uh, fresh and artificial flowers. Well, you got to get it in down here in Baltimore. Yeah, for real. Welcome to the new economy. Yeah, you got to get it. In there. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't <laughs> so do nothing but gamble on game. Like tonight, I bet on Texas Rangers. They won. So you know, I and I only bet I only bet eleven hundred dollars on it. So yeah, I mean, but, hey, but still, that's 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 enough, you know. That'll get me going, cause I gotta go to Walmart tomorrow morning. I go over there and get some, I get some dish powder. Get, uh, I gotta go get. I need, man, you know what I need to get is one of them griddles, cause I wanna make some waffles. And every time I try to be making them, I don't got the kind that got the little square thing. Yeah. And okay. I see the Walmart that the little thing came in the mail, the little flyer come. They got them for nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Walmart gets to be the only store in the world. Yeah. They're gonna cut out the store in America. It's gonna be Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you know what? I don't know, man. Walmart done took over. They got Walmart where you live. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, They got Walmart everywhere. They got Walmart China these days. Walmart is everywhere. What y'all think, man? Obama gonna come back? We gonna give him another chance. I don't know about that. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm crazy about Obama, but uh, you know, it's uh, seems like people know. getting showered on him now, man. Yeah, man. You know, America's about results. If you can't produce the results, man, they ain't gonna get no chance, though, man. They done had. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. The people beforehand, <laughs> they done messed it up so goddamn bad. Now they say, oh, you got like six months to clean it up. Yeah, well, I, like, heard Come on, man, I, I heard they're going to try to convince Obama not even to take the nomination next time. 
and that Hillary's going to slide in to take the nomination. That's that's the latest that's the latest gossip that I heard over here. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, y'all, yeah, man, you guys in D.C., you probably know. Hey, let me yeah. know because they let they let you bet on stuff like that out here in Las Vegas. Well, get out of here. Well, that's, that's, that's what, yeah, well, I'm, I'm telling you what's going to happen before it happens. Yep. Somehow or another, somehow or another, Obama's not going to take the nomination. Hillary's going to take the nomination, and I'm telling you, she's going to win. Yeah, he just got to say he got he cancer, then he can't run. That's what he's going to do. He's going to say he got cancer, and he ain't going to run. I don't know what they're going to say, the reason, but they're going to come out with a reason. So, you know, he doesn't run. And what do y'all think about this LeBum Le James? Well, I call him LeBum James because I don't really like him. But uh, what do you think about this LeBron James situation? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, you, 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 it just shows you, you know. I mean, only in America they 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 willing to pay people for sports more than they are anything else. You know what I mean? They want to know why all the kids don't want to go to school because I mean, if you watch TV, look at all the money you make playing sports. You know, but I know. Now the lawyer, the lawyer fella, you look like you was an athlete. What did you play? I didn't play. It, I didn't play. It. I played a little football, but I wasn't that great at it. Chuck, <laughs> I wish I could go back and be great at it. What they paying sports players nowadays? I know, I know. Money. I hurt, I hurt my knee, and my son, he played a bunch of years, so you know that's how that was. Yeah, but you know, yeah. that's what happens. Yeah, then, uh, they, he's going to Miami, so Miami's going to be a pretty exciting place. And, they uh, might. Bishop Barry looked like he was a boxer. Yeah, well, Bishop Barry need to be as big as he is handling all them crazy criminals. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Baltimore. Yeah. Tell you it's tough, it's tough in Baltimore. Be, that TV show, that TV show Wire was from Baltimore, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Did y'all grow up during that time too? Yeah. yeah. No, we, we, we like we, we're both long lifelong residents of Baltimore, but streets been tough here as long as I've been can remember going back to the seventies. Um, you know, yeah. I don't know Baltimore, Detroit, you know, some of the toughest. I say probably Baltimore, Detroit, probably two toughest cities in the country. You know, pound for pound. Yeah, I I I grew up I grew up Indiana. Yeah. I grew up Where in I Indiana? grew up the country. I'm Where from in Indiana? Southern Indiana, Bloomington. I wasn't up north. I wasn't in the scary part. I was down yeah. south. I was safe. Yeah, I was down towards Kentucky. Indiana too, you know. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I guess so. You got, but if you're good looking like me, it ain't bad. Yeah, yeah, Gary, Indiana. That's up north by Chicago. Yeah, yeah. all all the hoodlums. You, you get a lot of business Gary, up there Indiana. too. And I'm from Baltimore. My, I heard about that. Oh yeah. yeah, they was they was murder capital of the world for a while. Gary was. Yeah. Baltimore yeah, had yeah. it a few years too. They had the title belt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. when you said they had the title belt, they working on it this year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <geez. laughs> if you watch the news around here. The newspaper around here should be called "Who Got Shot." <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that that's crazy, man. Do do y'all go to the Redskins football games? No, you know we got the Ravens here. Oh yeah, Ravens. I forgot. Yeah, you sure yeah. got the Ravens. Yeah, they gonna be good yeah, this year. They got. I seen. I seen Ray Lewis out here one time. Yeah. I was in. I was in. I was in the Baltimore. A friend of mine. He from the Baltimore D.C. area. He a boxing promoter. What's his name? Kid named uh, Marty Wynn. Okay. Okay. He uh his, his wife used to be a champion because I used to I used to hang out with Muhammad Ali daughter when she fought, and oh, uh, we out came here. out there. We came out there to D.C. when uh. When she fought this girl and beat the brakes off of her, you know, but that's how it was. That's the only yeah. time I've really been to that part of the country. Yeah, I get, I get, I get stuck, I get stuck in a spot, and I'm like, man, I'm here, I ain't going nowhere. I don't even want to go outside sometimes. Like today, it's 115 degree out. I was yeah, like, what, what do I want to do? What am I gonna do? Put some bacon on my shoulder and wait till he's done to eat it? I ain't gonna do it. Yeah, it's too hot. Yeah, I heard it was hot out there. No, that. Uh... Oh uh, no! Yeah, you you, you got to come out here and gamble with all that money you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I'll win some. I w You know, I went to the bank the other day. I said, "Can I get some money?" They said, "No, nah, Bishop Barry I already been here and got it all." <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said, man. This guy. Uh, hey, Barry so wants to play the rap for, Barry wants to play the rap for you, though. All right, let's get. Can you hear it? put it a little closer to the speaker? Can you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Uh oh, cut off. <laughs> yeah, you can go. To, you can go. You can go to the uh, the website. Yeah, you can just look it up on YouTube. It comes up on YouTube. Yeah, I'll tell them. I'll tell them off because all my, you know, I get about twelve, thirteen thousand people listening to my show each week. They be listening to my show all the time. Wow. wow. I'm like, how long has they, you, how long has your show been on the air? Man, number one nine. How long has my show been going now? Uh, about a year and a half yet. Yeah, you know, uh, and then uh, we get, man, we get fans all the time, man, you know, and, and, and they, they, these kids, I call them idiots because my name's Ed and they're idiots and I call them idiots. And they follow and do whatever I tell them to do. So if I tell them to go check out your website, they do it. They tell me, man. People look at my show stupid. They tell me. They don't know. Yet. I don't know if you should say that about your listeners yet. <laughs> man, you know them guys, dummy. We're gonna we're gonna definitely yeah. call y'all back when we when we break out that new uh that new commercial on Jesus Christ Home Detention. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna see that, back. man. I wanna see now listen, hey, listen. Now if I get me a Jesus Christ bail bond here in Las Vegas, can I be in the commercial with you two? Hell I wanna yeah. yell bail out. I wanna go I wanna yell bail out, bail out, bail out, bail out. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I wanna do. To make one specifically for Las Vegas. Yeah, we'll make one specifically for for Las Vegas. Absolutely, you know? let's yeah. do the damn thing. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, I hook it and stole your money. Who you gonna call? <laughs> we all gonna make some money. <laughs> Keep it moving. Yeah, yeah man, because yeah, I mean, work, people though. out here. Like, do you know? You ever watched the T? I don't know if y'all seen this. They got a TV show called Pond Stars on television, oh, and it's yeah, about yeah. a pond shop. Yeah, that's oh, right yeah. down the street. That's right down the street from from in Las Vegas. It's right there. You get in your car, you right there, man. I see. I met all them kids, man. Yeah, they been doing well, the pawn shopping, man. You gonna have you gonna have to go on TV, man. You gotta go on TV. You do the radio and the TV all simultaneously. Well, I'm gonna tell you. you know? I'm gonna tell you, man. ABC Television tried to give me a show one time, and I told them no. I don't know if yeah. that's true, the Ed. I really don't. I don't think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> they did, man. You know, I'm you know, telling you. You know, boy, I'm out on t- talk show here in, in Baltimore. Kid, don't even listen to this number one nine kid, man. Don't even listen to him. He don't even know what he's saying. He don't know all. Like, like he's been with me for like 42 and a half years or seven. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. He'd like to I tell said? some stories. Yeah, you yeah. know, boy, and I have our own um, talk show here on Baltimore. On, on Comcast in Baltimore City on Channel 190 um, every Thursday, uh, 11 30, 12 30. It's called The Last yeah, it's Conversation. Coming on, yeah, it's coming on tonight. Hold on, let me turn it on, man. I got my remote right here. 190. <laughs> well, I don't 190? Think yeah, I don't think you can get it in Las Vegas, though. It's like a, it's on a local. No, I got Jewel. Channel 190. Yeah. I hear the Jewelry Channel. Yeah, yeah. They got a, they got a diamond. She got some, uh, well, they recorded. We got some recordings of it, though. You're right. You had to get Barry to send you some of them. Yeah, we're going to rock it out there. Yeah, we hit all. You think yeah. you hit We really hit some. We hit got some just, like, just like your show, just like a talk show coming on, talking talking about different issues that's just happening. That's interesting. I tell people what's going on because I don't want them to know nothing that's bad. Yeah. yeah well, it's yeah, not man, enough truth, though. Goes, we don't huh? that much. Yeah, yeah. Really not enough truth. <laughs> not a media, but not enough truth. You know? So, yeah, I want to know about this Barry, Bishop Barry auctioneer. Oh yeah. Well, you know, we we moving into now. It's just, I mean, the economy is so bad now. I mean, you can people have to auction off stuff to you know to keep the bills paid. Yeah, maybe we should hook up with the pawn stars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what's really gonna have to be going you on. You do. Man. You can talk stuff like them auction people. Oh, I got I got a, the, the the biggest tutor in the world. His name is William R. Boyd, William Roosevelt Boyd the third, <laughs> and I'm the student. He the uh, let me hear the auction. I can do it. Give five, give five, give five, give 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 you know what? Tell you the truth, I I don't know, man. It don't even matter to me. I don't worry about what them people are doing, as long as I know what the games is coming and I'm betting on them. And every single day, well, the last couple of days ain't been no games because All Star game. But that's all I do is bet on games, man. That's all yeah. I do. So I don't I don't really mingle with the people in the regular types. You know, I go to Target and buy me a shirt every once in a while. I go to go Foot Locker, get me some new shoes and. 
I know I buy me, like, see, I like wearing sports clothes. And people look at me crazy sometimes, but I don't give a damn because I wear football cleats to Long John Silver, and it don't matter. Yeah. You know? And the people people be like, oh, you can't wear that here. You know what? It don't matter. It don't even matter. You know, I got me a nice car, got me a good-looking girl. Today's her birthday. Oh, well, I'm going to knock it out. Yeah. Happy birthday, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock it out here. I'm gonna knock it. I'm gonna knock it out here a little bit. But that's <laughs> it's east. I mean, it's West Coast time, so it's still early. It's only eight o'clock. I go to bed about eleven. But I wake yeah. up about five thirty every morning though. And I be yeah. telling, I get my fans, like all my fans, they got my phone number. I be telling them my phone number on the air just to see if they'll call. They'll call. They'll call. Uh-huh. They try to catch me like four in the morning. You up yet? I'm like, nah, man. I got another hour and a half, but I'll wake up in a minute. Because they call me from the East Coast, three-hour difference. Oh, yeah, that's what I don't yeah, think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, man, hey, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys coming on the show, man. Like I don't want to take up all your time, man. No, we, we appreciate it 100%, you know. Absolutely. Thanks for, thanks for we the get to, email. We get to Vegas, we got to look you up. You come to Baltimore, you got to look us up, you know. Right. Yeah, and, and I want to tell all my listeners, if you go to Baltimore or the D.C. area, and unfortunately, if you get in trouble, tell them who they're going to call. That's right, Bell Bell Bars. <laughs> and we're going to be doing I'm national kidding. Bell Bars, so you can call us from Las Vegas with some trouble up there. We can do transfer bonds. Oh, you can? Now, how much, how, see, I don't even know about this. Though. How much, say, if I get charged for, you know, shoplifting. How much is it going to cost me to get out of jail? Well, it depends on the, what the bonding is up there in, in, I guess, in Nevada. I mean, if the... You're, you're going to get the discount rate. Yeah, we're going to get a discount rate. you get the Ed Show rate. Don't worry about it. Just yeah. call. Now, Just call. Okay. <laughs> Listen, one of my favorite movies of all time is Jackie Brown. I know you've seen that. Yeah. yeah. Now, <laughs> do the bail bonds work like the white fella ran it on Ordell? <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something Ed, before you go. Um, did you did y'all see and Mike? Did y'all see Boy and I on um, G4 TV and Smash Cups uh, last year? Well, don't no, Smash Cups was uh-uh. this year. Smash Cups. I think uh-uh, they, what happened? They, on, what happened on it? Stuff on the internet. Yeah, right. we we was on Smash Cups, baby. Smash Cups. No, I didn't see it. You got oh, oh, you guys had your man. own show. Well, I mean, they, it was they, on. They, it was on the Smash Cuts TV show. Right. Actually, was it a real look up on, it, on the internet. Just look up Jesus Christ Bell Bonds and Smash Cuts. It'll come up. Yeah. Oh, that it was was on and what, what y'all, it. what you do on there? They interview you? No. Well, they, you know, they would just, you know, they do this thing with videos. Is it real or is it fake? That's what they did on Smash Cuts. On G4, they just put it on. Right. You know? Yeah. Oh, they try to say your stuff wasn't real. Right, they said it wasn't real, man. Trust me, Barry's got people calling him every day. I got people calling him all over the world every day. <laughs> what they say? They say, Jesus Christ, bad boys. And then hang up. Hang up. <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous, man. What's wrong with these people, man? I show boy my hey. phone bill. I said, boy, you believe these people call me from all over the world? I, I tell you, the other co- about a, about three or four shows ago, I had a fool call me N word about fifty eight times in a row, yelling at me. I said, "Man, you can't be calling here talking all that nonsense." And he was some some stupid. I said, eh, "Whatever." Yeah. Just out because of the economy. Yeah, he probably was broke. He probably need Jesus. <laughs> he probably did, man. He probably did. Sometimes, you know, they people didn't they need Jesus. I mean, I ain't really never needed Jesus. I ain't never really, really been in no predicament where I'm like, Jesus, you got to help me. Because I want to wait, make sure I need him for, uh, for I use him favors up. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to be over there. He's talking about, oh, man, Ed, you, you, all you wanted was for the Patriots to win. No, nah, no, nah, I don't want to waste it on that. I needed to be on something serious and detrimental to my health. But yeah. that's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah. All right, fellas. Well, it was great talking to you. I know we done took like a half hour of your time, but we appreciate you calling. If you ever want to call back, talk with us. Man, yeah. we'd love to have you on because you guys are great, man. We we try to, you know, we don't have too many guests on the show. Usually I just talk and ramble on and people call in and yell at me. 
Yeah. But I said, man, I told number one nine. I said, call these guys, see if we get them on. Yeah, and, and I want to find out. And uh, we'll be calling you when we when we put the Jesus Christ home detention out. Yeah, we definitely gonna put you on with that. And then tell, and then uh, number one nine, he'll give you my email or whatever. And yeah. I want to find out how much it costs to get get me a a bail bond out here. I mean, I don't know. I have to talk to my son about it because he he, sure he won't did. let me do. Man, my son won't let me do nothing. Every <laughs> goddamn time I want to do something, he's like, "Uh, oh, daddy, you can't do that. You can't do this. You can't." I'm like, "Man, shut up." <laughs> you know, he don't let me do there? nothing. Huh? What's your email out there? Yeah, I got mine. is Ed's Real Good Team at Yahoo.com. But he yeah, got some kind of letters and stuff on it, though. Number one, nine, he have to email yeah. it to you because he, oh, he know how to type it and all that junk like that. I don't be fooling with all. I mean, I mean yeah. I'm all right on computer. I ain't the greatest on computer. Yeah. But and fellas, fellas, give out your uh, web address one more time. Yeah, bailout, bailout, bailout dot com. You got yeah, it. There it is. It's bailout three times dot com. Yeah, there it is. Bailout three times dot com. Yeah, right. That time. All right. Well, man, I appreciate it, man. You guys was great. You the greatest to me. That's all I, I don't care. We appreciate it. You tell everybody we said hi in Las Vegas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. You tell right, guys. You tell them right now. You on here? You tell them. Yeah. That's what we tell them. Yeah, we tell them. Be We're going to get out there to see you, you know what I mean? Yeah, be more huh? after dark. <laughs> Hit it one more time, baby. Bail out, be more. Guys, bail on. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Good hey, thank guy. you. All right, take it easy. Take it easy, boy. Right, adios, bye-bye. Okay. There he goes, uh, Bishop Barry and William Buey, his attorney. How about that, yes? Jesus Christ, man. They, they good, man. They know what they're doing, yeah. man. They over there making some money in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, they seem like good fellows. <laughs> And you uh, did a, a swell job with the interview yet. Yeah, what am I, what do you think I'm supposed to do, not talk right with them? Well, I didn't know how You don't think go. I know how to no. talk to people? Listen, I can talk to people. If you just sit them down in a chair, I'll tell them. That's because, what happens. You know, I'm used to, I interview some people on, on our fake radio show, so I thought, well, maybe I should step in and handle the interview. But no, I said, well, let the Ed do it, and you did a wonderful job, the Ed. I mean, what am I, are you going to give me a dollar or something? <laughs> maybe. Maybe you've heard it. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I like those guys. Those guys are really, really good. They're they're nice and they're friendly and uh, chatty. And, and Can look, you imagine? I'm telling you, they're always working something though. They got the pest control. They got the the home security thing. They got uh, the auction thing. They're always working something. Those guys, William Buey. At home detention, I think that's for like people who've been in trouble. Yeah. Then they got to uh, you know get out of trouble and they got to stay there instead of go to jail or whatever. So. So how, how did jail? How did, uh, how did Franklin like having that thing on his ankle when he had the DUI for riding a bicycle? Man, he didn't like it because he couldn't leave the house after 5 p.m. He could only go out for like six hours a day. Like they said, he can go out and do stuff that he had to do, but he had to be home by 5, so he didn't like it. You know? but, but he could still sit at home and drink, right? Yeah, he could do that. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe they get him in trouble for drinking. I don't know. I mean, I wasn't involved with it too much. What if I get me a bail bonds out here? You just got bail bonds in Los Angeles. Yeah, that's, that's and, and I'm good. on a commercial. And if I do a commercial with them too, you know how big the commercial gonna be? It's gonna be like big, like a goddamn pancake steak. Exactly. You guys will be famous. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Bail out, bail out. All right, bail man. Out. Well, all right. Well, you know, hey, some other stuff we gotta get to. We got a half hour left in the show. We got some more important stuff we gotta do. Yeah, hey, before we get into the uh, the football stuff, I know you want to do. What about hey, last night on our uh, fake radio show? You had a chance to talk to your buddy Dave Damashek again. That was nice. Uh, it, was a, it was a good little reunion that you guys had. And, uh, uh, that guy, the guy's a liar. I told him he was a liar. That's it. The guy ain't my friend. He didn't no, come to my friend. barbecue. He went to the other kids barbecue in California. Yeah, he went, uh, he went to <clears throat> David Feeney's barbecue instead of yours. But, uh, I mean, he was in California. It's tough to get, you know, pack up the family and go to Vegas to just attend your barbecue. He didn't need to take his family. I, I had topless girls and stuff here at the barbecue. You had topless girls at your barbecue. Huh. I didn't know that. <laughs> and we're really, speaking Sometimes. of your home life, what gives with you telling Bishop Barry and uh, William Buey that your son played NBA ball and you have $5 million in the bank? I don't know why you don't believe it. Because that's nonsense. It's not true. It is true. I don't know why you keep doubting me, man, every and time. Then, you're saying ABC offered you a TV show. They never, no one's ever offered you a TV show. Man, I'm telling you. 
You don't know. I had a game show. They went oh, really? on. And what was the game show called? You know, Man, my child support game show. Man, I told well, you about this. Yeah, but you never they never offered to put it on the air. And you, you did have that other great yeah. idea. Remember that other one, uh, What Do You Think? The, the name of that what game show? What Do You show? Think's another one they've offered me on. I've told them, no, I'm not going to do it. I, I always Until forget, though, how, how does What Do You Think work? I always forget. It's, they bring out the daughter first or the mother? Yeah, they bring out either one, and then you guess. Like, they bring out a girl, and then they say, okay, what do you think? Is she going to get nasty and fat? Or she's still oh, going to be right, good looking when she's older, and they pull back the drape, and her mother's there. And then you go, oh, Jesus Christ. Or, oh, yeah. Man, you know. Yeah, that's, that's what right. happens. That's a, that's a winner there. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, yeah. That's what happens. Also, I heard today that uh, your buddy uh, Floyd, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather, is still uh, running away from Pacquiao. He's yellow, and he doesn't want to fight Pacquiao. I don't know what's going on with that situation. Cause, yeah, yeah it's not looking it's good, fighting. is it? Not looking so good. Well, they got till Friday evening. But you know what? Here's the situation that people aren't understanding either, okay? okay. Bob Arum is like, he's Pacquiao's promoter. He just comes up to Floyd with a contract. Uh -huh. Why is he making the contract? I mean, he's not, he's not working with Golden Boy to make the contract together. They're just giving him, that's like saying, if I want to fight you, and I got all this crazy stuff in it, and I say, here, sign it, number one nine. And you go, man, I ain't signing that. I ain't. My, my people ain't even looked at it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's a little more trickiness to it than what people think. Pacquiao, I don't know if he really wants to fight either. I think they're both kind of, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Floyd, but he should mop him up. He should mop him up with it. So I don't know what's going on, but. It's not going to look good if he, if he doesn't sign that contract. It's going to look bad. You know, his, people are going to say, oh, he's... Well, who's the contract? But see, no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Who's the contract from? No one knows. Yeah. There's no... It's not like in UFC where Dana White makes the contract and says, okay, like I just told you, what if I made you a contract? I'd sign it. Wouldn't you look... Ah, <laughs> All right, man, we got to get to this football thing, man. <laughs> a, lot right. of people wanna, a lot of people want to get to this football you guys know we got a 32-team league, right? Yeah, 32-team fantasy football league. All right. Now, we have 34. Hey, Ed, I'm sorry huh? to interrupt again, but uh, Franklin wasn't going to call the show tonight, was he? I don't know why. Is he on the line? Yeah, there's a 702 number on there, but I, I don't know. I can't recognize if it's Franklin. 429? Yeah, yeah, it's Franklin then, yeah. Franklin. Wanna, yeah, let's put Franklin on. Yeah, put him on real quick. Jesus. Franklin, you there? I'm here. Hey, it's Hey, Franklin. man, what, what, what are you doing? Well, why would you call me a minute before my show earlier? And I said, man, what are you doing? I got my show. And you was like, oh, 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 oh. Okay. I was having some beer. I forgot what time it was. Nah, stupid. You are stupid. I, I'm about to Franklin. I, there's an hour difference, so I forget what time it is. Yeah. That's oh, right. yeah, I forgot. I forgot you in Denver. It's yeah. all messed up. Is it snowing over there? No, it's hot. It's 109 over here today, about. Did you like hear the Jesus Christ there. bail bonds? Did you hear the Jesus Christ bail bonds, kids? <laughs> no. Oh, they was on just a minute ago, man. Hey, man, but well, you you can't talk this week because we got we got important stuff to do for fantasy football. Uh, I got I got I got. When I when I was in. Remember I told you I was looking for a ring? Yeah. I ended, I, I ended up buying one. Wait a minute. But when I was in, in California, I lost it in the ocean. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. So you going to marry that him. girl? I had it in my pocket, and I was going to give it to her. We went in the water, and I lost it. That's How much did the ring cost? $1,200. Oh, no. Um, it was diamond ring, huh? Yeah. Yeah, uh, is, but that is means... The, that, is this the girl with the little hand? Was that? Is this the girl with the little hand? Yeah. Huh. Hey, that little... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> sure, she had money lied. on the ring, you know? She got a little bitty hand, probably. I don't well, know, I mean, man. I don't know about that, man. Well, I'm going to have to call you later, man. I ain't got time to talk to this nonsense right now. I'll call you later. All right. All right, Take care, buddy.
There you go, Franklin. It's good to hear from your buddy Franklin. It's been a while. I, t- I know Franklin was going to marry that girl, man. I mean, yeah, he was, I mean, yeah, so he's going to marry that girl with the little hand? Now, now do you think you got a <laughs> break on the ring? Because it's a little know. hand. Probably well, a $100. Dollar, yeah. Well, yeah, I can't remember which hand is broke oh, on her. It's little. If it's her right hand that's little, then he's not saying Yeah, 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 but, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, listen, man, it's fantasy football time in America. We got a 32-team football league, kids. We got 34 people who want to be in. Oh, no. Two people got to get cut. How sad. Now, there are six people that are on the chopping block. Six people. Now, four of these people will be having their names called tonight. Two of them won't. And sorry, you two that don't get your name called, but you're just not going to be in the league this year. Sorry. I mean, there's no other way around it, man. You know? I, I can't help it. So, first of all, I'm going to announce the six people who are on the bubble. You want to know who's on the bubble? Sure. They was chosen at random, these six people. Oh, really, at random? So it's not like you have a personal vendetta against these six people? No, no, no. I put my hand in the bag and dipped out six names, and these six names was the names that came out. We got Pine Dagger. Oh, Pine Dagger. He's won some of your number, games in the past. Yeah. yeah, he's been a good kid, man. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I no. heard you start to say number. Number one, Splozer. Oh, see, I thought you were going to say number one, nine, and I was going to be irate. Yeah. A kid named MJA. Okay. A kid named Doug. Doug. Is that Major Minorities, buddy, Doug? I don't know. Right. Then we got Amazing. And then Street Dreamer 83's name came out. That's your son. My son. Hey, man, it's random. So those six are probably sitting on pins and needles right now wondering if they're in. The other people, you guys know you're in. But these six don't know. But now what we're going to draw for tonight is the divisions and the not the draft positions, but the divisions of what division you're going to be in. All right. Now, do so, I have to write this down, or are you going to write it down, or? No, I, I'm writing it down too, man. I'm writing okay. it down too. All right, the AFC East. So when there's two at the end, when you know, well, I don't know how I'm going to do the two people who get kicked out. I might just pick their name. I don't know how we'll do. I guess their names will be. You know what, I'm going to draw the two. Okay, I got those six people's names right now. I'm going to draw the two who are out, and I'm going to put them two to the side. And then during the competition tonight, I'll just happen to randomly say, like, hey, man, you're out. That's All right? Yeah. yeah. So in the AFC East, the first team in the AFC East is number one Sploser. <laughs> oh, well, so he's off the bubble. He's, he's made it. I guess he is not a bubble team no more. Congratulations. You probably need to write this down, too. Uh, All right. Now we're going to go to the inner. We're going to go to the NFC East because that guy was AFC East. NFC East is Joe, J-O-E. Wait, how, how did you spell uh, that again? Uh, cap, I'm sorry, capital J-O-E, Joe. All right, now we're going to go to AFC North. Their first kid is Dog Pound 81. Dog Pound 81. He will be an AFC North kid. Now, we got NFC North kid. I'm going to get in the bucket in the bay. 18 Nalax is AFC North. You mean NFC North? Yeah, NFC North, N, N, like the N-word, FC North. All right, AFC South, their first kid is the Ryan. The Ryan is in the AFC, just like the god dang, uh, this bracket of 64, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, speaking of right, brackets, so yeah, yeah, have you seen uh, Ocho Cinco's dating show on VH1? No, I watched Ultimate it. Catch. Oh, it's, it's dynamite. You should check it out. 
He started with 85 ladies. Yeah, you ain't got to interrupt me because we, we, we right. got a lot of time. All right, I'm sorry. Again. NFC South, first player in there is Face Ventura. Face Ventura is AFC, I mean NFC South. Jesus Christ, man. Gosh, dang it. All right, AFC West, their first kid is going to be number one nine. Hey. He will be in AFC West. Okay. Like the Oakland Raiders. Uh, yeah. NFC West. Their first kid will be Philly Billy Rule. Ooh, what? look at that. Larry. That's our buddy that's Larry. Larry. So you guys will only can meet in the Super Bowl. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah. yeah. All right. The second team in the AFC East. You know, the first team was number one Splozer. Yeah. He's going to be bad is Gio Deluck. Gio Deluxe. Yeah, are you still there, buddy? Yeah. You got to get your head. I'm right here. All right. All right. All right. The phone, phone probably getting hot, man. The phone probably yeah. getting hot. Gio Deluxe. Yeah. You hear me? Barely. Are you kidding me? I'm in the same spot I've been the whole night. Well, you need to actually talk into the phone, though. It sounds like you moved the phone away from your Oh, room. yeah, yeah. I moved the phone away from me. All right. You hear me now? Yes. yes. All right. All right. All right. NFC East, Joe was the first one, Sean Leahy. Hey, that's our buddy, Puck Daddy, Sean Leahy. Yeah, he's in. All right, AFC North, let's see who we got. Major Minority. He is in there with Dog Pound. Major All right. Minority. All right, now we got... NFC North. Ah, uh, what this kid name is? Killer Angel eighty one. Who is that kid, man? He's he's got a crazy name, man. Killer Angel eighty one. He's a filthy Washington Capitals fan. Oh yeah, I like that guy. All right, AFC South. The Ryan was the first one in the AFC South. C A H O five. C-A-H-05 is AFC South. NFC South. This guy will be battling Face Ventura. Regular ass Tom. Tom. <laughs> regular ass Tom. Regular ass Tom. Rat. R-A-T. Regular ass Tom. He will be in the NFC South. In the AFC uh, it, West. Well, I'm sorry huh? to interrupt you. Is regular ass Tom still sharing a team with uh, Steve Greenwell there? Or a screenwell? No, I thought Tom J seven ten was. No, no, no. So you've been confusing them up the whole time. Uh, all right, well, damn. This is Tom. Okay, well, this is Tom J seven ten then. Oh, so it's not regular as Tom. Okay. No, no, because I got, I got the, I got the, his name on with his friend. So. Yeah. yeah I got a card that's... with their name. Okay, okay. So Tom J seven ten by himself. Okay. Number one nine. Your division mate is Black and Decker. Oh, all right. Black and Decker. All right, now we go to the NFC West. Philly Billy Rules, one of his compadres is M.J. Martin. M.J. Martin. I like haven't heard from him in a while. Kid. I heard he was in Africa. He though. called me. Yeah, he called me the other day. He told me. So we're halfway done. Sixteen teams have been selected. This is exciting. All right, let me shake my bag, yeah. man. AFC so, East. Uh -huh. huh? Well, I was just huh? going to tell you more about the uh, Chad Ocho Cinco dating show, but you seem right. You're right. We don't want to hear that shit. Uh -huh. All right, S. Greenwell and Tom. All right, yeah, S. Yeah, Greenwell yeah. and Tom. They are, okay. Who is S. Greenwell? What's his name? Uh, well, I believe it's, uh, I think, Steve, right? Steve Greenwell? He's one of the guys, the main guys on the message board. Hey, Doug and Street Dreamer. You know uh -huh. what? Amazing's also from Cleveland, I believe. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. All right, AFC North. We already got Dog Pound and Major Minority. Havoc will be joining those kids. Havoc, he's a tough kid, man. He's a, he's a good guy, man. He always doing lots of stuff. All right, so NFC North, we already got 18 the last and Killer Angel. Let's see who gets to be in that division with them kids. Big Feet. <laughs> oh, Big Feet. 
Man, that's going to look like a crazy division right there, man. We got an angel, a foot, and an elect. I don't know. AFC South has the Ryan and CAH05 along with the Ed. <laughs> the Ryan and the AFC Ed. South. Yeah, yeah but this is the, the division. Hey, that's I the guess CA. I think you rigged that. You wanted to be like the Colts. No, nah, I swear to God, I didn't rig nothing, man. Don't put that in them goddamn people's heads. Because <laughs> now they're going to start, man. You see them right here grabbing it out the goddamn bag, man. What are you I, talking about? I smell a conspiracy. There you go. Man, I'm not cheating. I don't cheat. No, I never cheated in none of this stuff, man. Yeah. This stuff's real deal, and it means a lot to me. I put a lot. Well, once again, the edge. Please, you got to talk into the phone. Shut up, man. NFC <laughs> well, you South. Can't, you can't move the phone. All right, guys. Face Ventura and Tom J. Sarah be in our league. Oh, MJA is up. If you recall, MJA last year, he was in the uh, football league, and he kind of just did nothing the whole season. So. Yeah. Maybe that's why. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, AFC West, we got number one nine in Black and Decker. Uh -huh. And now Sock Norb 777. Uh-oh, uh -oh, you know got to play is. against Pontiac. Yeah, I don't know what that means, Pontiac. That's his name. Why are they calling him Pontiac? Greg Pontiac, Greg Pontiac man. Oh, Dodge. Because right, Dodgers, Dodgers are not reliable. Oh, you're making a little joke. But he beat no, me last that's his year. name. He beat me last year in the playoffs because Brandon Marshall caught 21 passes that one game. Remember that? Oh, and uh oh, now I guess it's a conspiracy because he's Broncos. He's AFC West. Oh. <laughs> that's right. That's all right, all right. NFC West Station 85. Station 85. That's forget that kid's name. What's his name? Jake um, Stink Pickle. Yeah, yeah, Jake. Howard, a lot of people. Right? A lot of people got problems with him, man. A lot of people got problems with him trying to make trades. He's not a fair trader. So anybody in the football league, beware that you're gonna get some bullcrap trade offers from that kid. <laughs> All right, the last kid in the AFC East is going to be Mario Speedwagon. One of the, one of my favorite names. On a message board. Mario Speedwagon. Yep. All right, we still got two people left. Street Dreamer and Doug. They're the, they're the finalists to be kicked out. All right, then AFC North. Street Dreamer, no, NFC East, I'm sorry. Street Dreamer 83 is an NFC East. Wow, good for him. So, Doug, sorry, buddy. Your ass is Great. out. Yeah. Doug, you got to go, man. Sorry, Major Minority will maybe let you co on his team with him. The Ed, the Ed, once again, what aren't you doing right Shut now? Shut up, man. <laughs> AFC North. AFC North is 4th and 26. So 4th and 26 is in the AFC North. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. I didn't say nothing. I thought you hung up on me. <laughs> NFC North. Uh-oh, I think this guy, I don't think this guy wanted to play. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is it, Ed? NF Master, 56. Oh, yeah, he said he would yeah. drop out if if, uh, if required. Like, if we needed a team to drop out, he'd drop out. Well, Not he ain't like... dropping out. He's in. Looks like he's <laughs> right. in. Looks like he's in. All right. If I, we'll, let, we'll let him talk about it. Maybe he can give his team to Doug or MJA then or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right. All right. Then the AFC West is Richie. Hey, Richie's going to be battling you. You're going to be battling. No, I'm sorry. That's the AFC South. Yeah. Wrong. Hey, Richie's, gonna be Richie's in you. with me. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That guy's tough, man. No. Ah. All right. Now, NFC South is Buttsman and World Series Champs 04. Yeah, they're sure. Last man, World Series Champs 04. All right, now we got two teams left in the AFC West to battle you. It's Lonely End of the Rink. That's, that's our buddy Lance. Lance well, I'm glad I ain't fighting him in the end of the rink. He's a good gambler. Good gambler, man. Yeah. yeah. And the final kid, and I think this kid wanted to be out too, 
was Wisconsin alcoholic. Did I fuck up on this or what? <laughs> I think you may have yet. <laughs> man, I don't know, man. I thought I had the right people in here, but I don't know. Jeez, uh, right. I don't know, man. This might not be the final. We might have to do this again next no, week. I think this is official. We can't go through this twice. <laughs> it would be too terrible. Uh, all right. I hope I didn't hurt nobody's feelings, but that's yeah. all we got, man. I mean, that's the team. So let me review. <laughs> Please. AFC East is number one Splozer, Geo Deluxe, S. Greenwell, and, and, and a regular ass Tom, and Mario Speedwagon. I'm going to make. I'm going to make my predictions right now that Geo Deluxe will win that division. Okay? No, I, I say uh, I'll go with uh, Greenwell and Tom there. I think they'll pull it up. Oh, you're going to pick Greenwell and Tom. Okay. Yeah. Now, the AFC North will be Dogtown 81, Major Minority, Havoc, and 4th and 26. I'm going with Havoc. Um, yeah, Major Minority, He he's not going to win. He's too... He, you know, he's too busy. He's got too much going on. Yeah. Right. Fourth and 26. What are you thinking? Uh, he's, he's from Milwaukee, right? They never win anything up yeah. there. So uh, that. Yeah. Dog Pound. Dog that's, Pound that's, 81. That's Cleveland. That's Cleveland. Yeah, it's a Cleveland. I think Havoc. you got to go there, right? You're going to pick Havoc, too? Yeah, Major Minority's too busy making little Tina Fey jokes and stuff. He can't concentrate on football. So, yeah, we'll go with Havoc. Well, ha- I mean, all right. Okay, the AFC South, we got the Ryan. C-A-H-0-5, the Ed and Richie. Oh, man, that's a blowout. I'm kicking these kids ass. Ryan's from Canada, so what does he know about football? You know, he don't know nothing, man. He thinks you're playing with a field that, you know, has 20-yard end zones and stuff, so, and you got to punt him <laughs> down, so that's going to hurt him. Uh, I, say, uh, I say Richie takes that division. Did you hear me? There? AFC West. I said Richie's going to yeah. beat you. Yeah, well, you're wrong. All right. AFC West, we got number one nine, Black and Decker. Oh, well, there's the winner. Number Shock one Norm, Lonely in the Rink. I'm going with Shock Norm. You can't, you can't go with nobody but him in the AFC West. Number one nine is the champ. Sign it up. You say you say Lonely in the Rink's going with that event? No, no, no. Number one nine, that kid's good. Yeah, that's bullcrap, kid. All right, NFC East, we got Joe, Sean Leahy, Amazing, and Street Dreamer. Well, we've already established yeah. Amazon's from Cleveland, so scratch him off. Yeah. Uh, I got to go with my son, Street Dreamer. I say I say Joe. Or our pal Sean Leahy. I don't know what he knows about football. He's a hockey kid. Joe. Jeez. So, Christ, Joe, Joe, Joe takes him serious, you know? I'm I mean, taking Street Dreamer. He's serious, and I'm going to coach him. All right. NFC North, we got 18 Milax, Killer Angel 81, Big Feet, and NS Master 56. Um, that's a tough one there. We Killer Angel, he's the Cavs fan. I can't root for, root for him. Uh, 18 to Lax, he's the character who uh, drafted all Pirates in our baseball league, so I think he's going to... Jim draft all Steelers and suck in this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll say uh, my buddy Big Feet is going to win it. Yeah, that's who I took, Big Feet. Yeah, we got two two unanimous. Yeah. All right, NFC South, Faith Ventura, Tom J. 710, Pine Dagger, and Black Man World Series Champs 04 is a combo team. Faze hmm. Ventura is right. stupid. He's a Mexico kid. Tom J710. I don't know, man. I keep getting him and regular ass Tom confused, so yeah. I'm kicking him down. Pine Dagger, he seems like a jokester. I'm going to go with two heads is better than none and say Black Man and World Series Champ wins that division. I'm going to go with Pine Dagger. You can go with Pine Dagger, okay. I know he's won some of your games in the past, so he seems to be yeah. a competitor. NFC West, Philly Billy Rules, MJ Martin, Station 85, and Wisconsin Alcoholic. Well, we know Philly Billy's not winning. Uh, he, he, he offers too many ridiculous trades. He ain't winning. Wisconsin Alcoholic, I don't even know if he wants to be in the league. Yeah. So I'm taking Station, I'm taking MJ Martin. Yeah, I remember last year, MJ Martin had a good team, man. He he was in there. I think he was in the championship game, and he lost. So he knows what he's doing. Um, so, yeah, I'll, you know what? I'm going to go uh, – I'll go MJ Martin as well. I, th- I think he's going to pull it out. Larry's not winning. That's the important thing, yeah, that Larry doesn't win. Yeah, Larry ain't going to win nothing, man. Yeah. All right, man, we like it's time for our show to go. Yeah.
We're about we went up to the wire. We went up to the wire, man. So, all right. I hope you guys like the show. Don't let them talk bad about you. Now it's time to say goodbye to Ed and all his friends. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to listen to my show. So get yourself a couple paychecks and go and buy a hoe. Y'all come back now. You hear? Who is the first person to call when you get in trouble? Jesus! Christ bail bond. Jesus! Christ bail bond. If you're locked up in a phrase, bail out, bail out, bail out, bail out, bail out, bail out. Let God release you on a payment plan by calling me. I'm Bishop Murray of Jesus Christ Bail Bonds. 410-292-3029. You're locked up in a phrase. Bail out, bail out, bail out, bail out, bail out, bail out. Jesus Christ Bail Bonds.